Hello everyone and welcome to another week of TCG Pokedex. Um, we keep moving forward in our Pokedex and this week is the Clefairy, the Clefa, Clefairy, Clefable line's turn. But I don't think any of the Clefables are, um, I don't know, are genuinely good at this point in time. So, like they're all very underwhelming. So I decided to feature um, Clefairy. Now, just Clefairy. Why is that? Because it does have Metronome. Now, Metronome will allow us to use my opponent's attacks against them. Um, we'll have to choose very carefully because Metronome does take quite a few energy. Um, three, colorless. So, um, to go with Clefairy, which I don't know how big or not Clefairy will be, I paired it with Regi Eyes and Water Energies, thanks to its colorless cost. Um, Regi Eyes will give us extra layers of protection against EX Pokemon. I'm also running Garbodor in order to prevent um, abilities from ruining our day. But um, <laughs> uh, it's unfortunate that there aren't many good Clefable cards. Like you would expect, I don't know, like a Prime or something to have come out by this time, but. I mean, the only good um, cards from this evolution line have been the Clefas up to this point. So, and like Clefairy, you could maybe see a one of as a tech, maybe in a tech like Mega Ray or something like that. But we're gonna do our best. And aside from that, um, I do have one special charge in here because I'm gonna rely a ton of my TCs. Um, I also have the four Max Elixirs. I have a 4 3 3, um, 3 Lysander because since I want to copy my opponent's attacks, I want to make sure that um, the right Pokemon is in front of me so that I can, so that, so that I can copy the right attack. Um, Fighting Fury Belt will increase Clefairy's HP from 40 to 80, which is decent ish, I guess, um, and also will increase Red Gizes to 130. And a healthy energy count with 10 basic water and 4 DCs in order to to make sure our max elixirs work and that we draw enough energy throughout the game. And we have our 2 Shaman, our 4 Ultra Ball, 4 Rare Seeker. Um, nothing too surprising about this. Um, hopefully the non-EX prize exchange will favor us. Um, I am running the Shamans, but um, we can get rid of them with the Parallel Cities. So, we're hoping to put our opponents in difficult situations. That's the main. That's the main idea behind this deck. Um, certainly not to like clean up uh, our opponent's Pokemon, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I don't know. I feel like Clefairy is a very interesting card. Uh, definitely not one to base a deck around with but maybe we'll be able to pull off some interesting tricks here and there. You never know. You really never know. <laughs> um, looks like it's gonna be a little while here whilst we find our first opponent. Um, Monday night, no idea why people wouldn't be playing. Um, Athens Regionals will happen next week, so uh, if this is Townflame Greninja, we're in for a treat. Maybe I should, should have put a Glacian. Because us copying Greninja is not going to be too impactful. It's going to take 3 energy to um, to deal 80 damage at most. So that's not good. We can also copy Bubble. <laughs> we can copy Air Blitz as well, but... Yeah, this is not going to be good. Um, what else? Could we possibly do here? Yeah. Um, hopefully my opponent um, lags out <laughs> and we get a win that way. I don't see us beating Greninja ever with this deck unless he really, really, really dead draws. Like, really dead draws. Um, let's start Trubbish. Because that way we have two targets for our max elixirs in Clefairy and and Regice, and we can. Or the idea is to treat Trubbish with the Float Stone. Eventually, um, 
I think we're gonna have to power up Rich Ice. I don't know how much Clefairy will actually feature <laughs> in today's games, but I'll do my best. I'll evaluate because I wanna I want this series to be balanced between trying to win and trying to use the card that you're basing the deck on. That's why you have like the backup Rage Ice as well. Could have tried to use a uh, Clefable as well, with maybe Huh, maybe that would have been not such a bad idea. To use a full Claw Fable line and use um, Shrine of Memories in order to use Metronome as well. But my opponent does start Townflame and Froki. That's like an ideal scenario, but he's taking his sweet time here though. Um, okay, probably trying to decide what to discard off of the Ultra Ball. If you're my opponent, you're probably not fearing a turn to KO, so you might not go for a second throw key, but then why would you hold on to the... Why wouldn't you hold on to the TCE? Does discard a Greninja and a Talonflame and goes for another throw key, okay. If I had one Glacian, then I would say maybe we had a chance here, because Glacian Garb means Greninja can deal literally zero damage. But my opponent simply passes and I top deck the float, so that's pretty nice. Okay, I'm going to ultra ball away both of my supporters and find a shaman. And I'm hoping to hit a TCE and a max elixir here somehow, some way. Um, looks like my opponent is dead drawing, so if we're gonna have a chance to win this match, it's gonna be this one. Okay, so we actually don't hit the max elixir so who do i power up uh i mean i want to use clefairy guys but <laughs> uh yeah i'm gonna go there with ice roots i'm sorry um <laughs> i don't think we're gonna be seeing too much of clefairy in this match maybe i should have attached the Fighting Fury Belt right there. Okay, so we get more energy and we actually get more Clefairy, which is not bad, but also not that great. Um, I'm just gonna... See, the thing is, I don't want... Yeah, I'm gonna retreat into Rage Eyes because I don't want my opponent to deal 40 damage to the Garp and then be able to Lysander it up. I went does evolve into the Frogadier into two Frogadiers and his last card in hand is is nothing. Okay, so we get our garb up. Would I want to shame him first? Probably not. Okay. So I'm gonna start putting pressure on my opponent and <laughs> If we actually win this match, it's gonna be solely based on the fact that we are using Red Eyes and not Clefairy, but that's okay, guys. <laughs> I mean, I'll try to use Clefairy eventually, okay? I promise I'll try to attack with Clefairy at least once. Like, I'll try Clefairy, I'll, I'll try to have Clefairy take a price, a price card here, okay. Here, I'm a bit conflicted. I do want to KO. Um, I do want to get a Frogat here, but if I can get rid of Talonflame, then I can potentially remove uh, my opponent's way of of getting out of the hole he's actually in, or he's currently in. Okay, but apparently my brain decided for me that it's better to simply. Um, have I attached energy this turn? Yes. To simply resistance blizzard and start taking knockouts. Um, with my versus seeker in my hand, I can potentially KO the other Frogadier, so that would be a pretty ideal scenario. Pretty ideal scenario here. We'll see. Yeah, my opponent's pretty sad. And wow, he just concedes. So our Clefairy deck <laughs> beats Greninja Talonflame, surprisingly, um, only because he dead drew though. In any other scenario, we do not win, I don't think, but we take those. Um, 
We definitely take those. Now it looks like we're up against Mega Gardevoir, so this is where Clefairy might actually shine here. And Regiice is a very good um, shield to have as well. Clefairy can deal the big damage, and then Regiice can completely wall my opponent's deck. In theory, of course, he is going first though, so I'm gonna have to give up on Clefairy, I think. <laughs> Feels like we're playing a Rich Ice deck, honestly. I'm not gonna lie. It does feel like we're playing a Rich Ice deck. But. But, but, but. I mean. I generally couldn't come up with a better Clefairy list. <laughs> I generally couldn't. I was like, well, high HP Pokemon definitely trouble Clefairy, so how do I counter that? Well, why not use um, Regice, which counters the big HP Pokemon, and then Garp does have some does have merit here. So let's use Shaman. Let's try to get our Max Elixirs and our energy going. We do find <laughs> man. Do I see the thing is okay. I could Shining Wind him, <laughs> but if he, yeah, let's do this, let's attack with um, Clefairy, that's why we're using Clefairy, right guys? Um, let's actually deal some damage with Clefairy, and thanks to the Fine Fury Belt, if my opponent doesn't have enough energy in his hand, we could actually do it KO this Gardevoir, and just dealing 100 would be, okay, so yeah, there's all of our Clefairy. <laughs> Just lining up for us, and let's see if we can sing my opponent to sleep. Yes, we can! Woo! <laughs> I can't believe I just used sing. Okay. So, what does my opponent top deck? There's a second energy. There's a Professor Sycamore. Okay. So, in an ideal world... Um, huh. In an ideal world... Wow. He Mega Evolves? And doesn't do anything else. But there's a Hoopa, so I mean, he will Mega Evolve for sure. <laughs> I could Metronome the Despair Ray, and therefore. Um, <laughs> and therefore, discard some of my own Clefairy. Another thing I could do. Wow, I might actually do that. If my opponent doesn't KO Clefairy here, I'm gonna take a KO with Clefairy. Sorry, there's a mosquito right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill the mosquito. One second, guys. <laughs> yes. Got it. Okay. So there's a Mega. Okay, so... <laughs> Let's see if we can hit this Max Elixir first. And we do. That's pretty good. Okay. Here's what I can do here. I can copy Mega Gardevoir's attack to leave it in range of Regi's. <laughs> I'm gonna bench all my Clefairies. Or I can Lysander up the Hoopa and copy Hoopa's attack and K ah no I can't kill Hoopa I'm not psychic Clefairy is not psychic type okay never mind that's not gonna be um <laughs> for some reason I thought I would want to KO Hoopa EX but that's obviously not gonna be the case okay so we find another max elixir which we do hit which is awesome um, we're gonna attach this we're gonna shut off my opponent's abilities which is awesome and I'm gonna set up a potential second Garbodor in case he finds a Lysander and we are pretty set here <laughs> I feel like this is the only time Clefairy is going to attack I feel like this is the only time Clefairy is going to attack I took a, a print screen to showcase on, <laughs> on on my Facebook page as a preview and yeah I mean I'm gonna use metronome I'm gonna use this berry I'm gonna discard the shaman 
And all of my clock fairies, I guess? <laughs> that's 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, that's 150 damage. That means um, 160, sorry, because of the Fighting Fury build. So I 100% KO with the Ridge Ice. He could Lysander up the Ridge Ice, that's true. But then Clefairy would actually get a knockout here, which would be impressive. Yeah, it's too bad Metronome only copies the active Pokemon because if it could copy any Pokemon, it would be so much better. And I could have taken a KO on Shaman by Lysandering the Shaman and then copying Koopa's attack and dealing 110 damage, or Despair Ray rather. <laughs> but yeah, there's a Dragonite. Um, <laughs> my opponent gives me a Clefairy back, how nice of him. <laughs> How very nice of my opponent to give me back a Clefairy. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. There's a Lysander. Onto the Rage Eyes. That's fine. I am okay with that. My opponent needs to deal needs to discard five Pokemon. So he's gonna discard everything but the Guard of War. He will only take one prize card. And then he's gonna be left with pretty much nothing after this. Um, I'm gonna attach the energy to my Ridge Eyes. I'm gonna bench the Clefairy because why the heck not? And I'm gonna Sycamore once again. Now I'm just looking for DCEs. Um, the Max Elixir doesn't hit, doesn't really make a difference though. And I'm gonna be able to use. Um, I'm gonna bench the shaman and I'm gonna discard the shaman um, I'm gonna <laughs> despair it and Clefairy actually takes a knockout here <laughs> Clefairy actually takes a knockout and it could actually deal a hundred damage to the Gardevoir as well could it could actually to it KO this Gardevoir too there's an energy uh, there's a second one okay but we have our DC, we have our Rage Eyes ready here. And without abilities, my opponent shouldn't be able to deal too much damage. He could find the Mega and a Mega Turbo right here. Which seems like he doesn't. No, he does. Okay. So poor Clefairy. Um, we all thought he was going to be the star of the match. But looks like he won't be. Um, Evan has used one escape rope. Now, escape rope Lysander play is definitely viable for my opponent here. It's definitely a viable um, choice. So, I'm going to evolve into Garb. I'm going to put back the Rage Eye. So, yeah. Um, basically, Clefairy paved the way for Rage Eye <laughs> to dominate this game, I guess. Um, I'm gonna end here, but yeah, between Regis and Garb, like my opponent shouldn't have a single way to touch Regis here. We really shouldn't have any way to touch Regis. Um, we will three hit KO the uh, Guard Guard of War, so that's pretty good. And. There's a Ratata. Um, I mean, he can deal 20 damage with Ratata, I guess. Maybe a Raticate wouldn't be so bad in this deck. Maybe he runs the Raticate. And there's a Versus Seeker for a Sycamore. And yeah, more Versus Seekers simply means um, less of a chance for the la for the Escape Rope Lysander play. Um, which is what I'm guessing my opponent is going for. That would be my best guess. So, powering up another Rage Eyes would be really nice here, but we first have to find it, and we didn't draw a draw supporter <laughs> off of our N. So, if my opponent manages to pull that off, he could actually make a comeback here. Now, would I? want to Lysander? Probably not. Correct? Probably not. 
I'm gonna play the the special charge and huh. See, I'm gonna end once again simply because I want to find um, another Regice potentially to have a follow up. I don't feel comfortable with just one, but I do not find it. And now I'm gonna attach an energy to Regice simply because if he does evolve into Raticate and removes one of my energy, I could be left without a way to attack afterwards. So it's better to be safe than sorry. Um, could be running the one Raticate, which is not a bad idea, I would say. Okay, so my opponent max potions here. Um, we're definitely not at risk of teching out, though. We're definitely not at risk of getting teched out. Um, sure, he heals up the damage. It's no big deal. I don't think max potion is better than fairy drop here, because there's very few instances where you'll be able to actually... Um, heal off and power up your card of war in the same turn and my opponent that's his fourth versus seeker so now it's down to one lysander and one escape rogue and there's a victory there we go so yeah <laughs> clefairy took a ko guys clefairy actually took a ko and i'm not gonna find another game um <laughs> I know it feels like a filler week, honestly, and I mean, Clefairy attacked, Clefairy took a KO, which I never thought we would see, uh, and we had a full bench of Clefairies, so that's gonna be it from me guys, this is mostly for fun, um, next week I think we have Weekly Tough, which I don't think has a good card either, <laughs> so it might be another rough week, but um, this was a nice change of pace because I've definitely been a bit frustrated with with the PCGO and I know it shows in my videos and I apologize for that um, I want 2017 to be the best year for Tablemon yet although it's only been a little over a year now but um, I really want to work on that I want to actively work on my attitude towards the game so um, this was this was enjoyable and we got to wins so we are undefeated with Clefairy <laughs> <laughs> and yeah guys please do like if you can on the video and i will see you guys next week with more content thank you guys so much and bye